Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of As Far As VI. I really enjoyed that first episode I did, so I'm going to crack on the campaign a little bit more. So we've got Chapter 2 here, Linked by Destiny. Hanky and Shook must take one of the paths that lead to their next stage. Can you help them get the necessary resources? Learn to choose a path according to the available resources and halt biomes. Construct buildings, tame on offalos and trade on the market. Manage harvest cycles and discover people's different forms. Hanky and Shut are ready to get cracking. At dawn of the fifth blink, the great meeting is closed with a circle ceremony. Every people must go to the summit of the great cliffs of the west. It is a hard task, but few do not undertake it. Those who do not join the sigh to guide their companions in future travels. At the summit, a vast plateau awaits the pupils, who sit in concentric circles around sacred stones. Here, the tribes are reorganised. During the ceremony, each pupil is linked to two others, a new circle. A caravan is assigned, and the next day they leave the eye for a new cycle. Two times already the ceremony has linked Shut and Hanky in the same circle. Destiny has decided so. The cycle is reaching its end, and the wind in their balloons has come to announce the arrival of the waters. It is time to leave and make their way to the eye. This time Shut and Hanky will make the climb to the sacred plateau together. Even though their egos will never let them speak of it, their impatience for the ceremony is tempered by apprehension. This is the caravan. The tribe is composed of two pupils, Shut and Hanky. Open a map to look at the tribe's journey. Oh, got a couple of different routes. Shut and Hanky's tribe is currently two halts away from the eye. From their position, two different paths are available. Each path has its own difficulties and can lead to very different terrain in which it can be harder to progress. Select the top path to see how much it costs. Go by the top path, you need to cross a bridge. The bridge has collapsed and you will need to repair it with wood and ore. Your pupils will need to harvest those resources to go this way. This path leads to a fertile land hall. There are many lakes so movement can be difficult. However, there will be a lot of arable land and there is probably a lot of fish. On the bottom path, the tribe will have to cross a glacier to reach the next halt. You will need to collect petkins to have enough food and some stone flint to start fires and warm up. This halt is a rainforest. There will be a lot of jungles and bogs, a lot of wood, but mosquito and disease vagaries are fatal. Doesn't sound good. The tribe doesn't have the necessary resources to make this trip. We will need to find them at the current halt, harvest them and stock them. So... Let's have a little explore about. Shut Hanky only know part of the halt. Explore the halt to know your options. Each resource can be found only on specific hexes. You will never find petkins on mountains or in lakes. So, let's get all these grey tiles explored. You go that away. You go that away. You can go there. Petkins are base resources and can be harvested by the caravan. Sign Shut and Hanky to collect petkins by selecting each pupil, then right clicking on the hex containing petkins or on the caravan. End the turn to validate the action. Pupils need space and two can't work on the same hexagon. Sign them each to their own hex or to the caravans so they can find their own hex and end the turn. Cool. So, let's have you go down to that one. So you're kind of a bit closer to that one. Well, you're close to that one, but it'll take longer for this one to go that way. Uh, that way rather than that way, you know what I mean. I think. Oh, they've changed their appearance to take on their gatherer form. We'll each go to work on our own hex without getting in each other's way. Pupils will collect petkins for free turns, drop them off in the stockpile, and go back to harvesting. Cool, I'm going to keep doing that. It says over here we need 540 petkins. These petkins are much further than the stockpile building than the others. Pupil only has three movement points per turn. It'll take much longer to go to and from between the hex and the stockpile. It'll take them many more turns to bring back the same amount of resources as the other people. Using this hex is not particularly efficient for now. 
One pupil will be sufficient. Hanky can handle it. Meanwhile, Shit will go and get some stone. Cool. Oh, building. Yeah. Building a permanent quarry requires 100 wood. Fortunately, Shit and Hanky already have that much in the stockpile. Oh yeah, we've got 200. Brilliant. Select it. Select it. Buildings can only be built on planes. Be aware that any resources on a hex will be lost. So if we try to put it there... Yep, take Pepkins away. Place the quarry as close to the stone as possible so ship can harvest quickly. Once the position has been indicated, ship will go and build the designated structure. There we go. Build, build, build. Shit's become a bird, a shape that builders take and build the building for three turns. Cool. Look at that. Cool little bird. Well done, Shit has built a quarry. You must now assign Shit to stone collection via the building or hills where the stone can be found. There you go, it's easy. You now only need to collect enough stone and pepkins to cross the glacier. Cool. Let them do their thing for a few turns. I think it'd be quick if you to go to those ones. Because you're not going to be crossing a hill. Alright, stone's been depleted, but we've got enough. All the necessary resources have been obtained. Open the map and select the next halt to prepare to leave. So we're going this way with lots of things. Alright, let's drag all our stuff across again. Alright, here we go, stone. Is that everything? That's everything. Let's go. The tribe has crossed the glacier and is now in a tropical halt. They must stop for a while so they can find the necessary resources to cross the next obstacle. However, the halt they left behind is now under the waves. They mustn't tarry on their way to the eye. The eye is the next halt. Select the eye or the path to the eye to find out what the pupils will need to get there. Okay, so goals. The eye. Ten ore and another hundred stone. This halt is a little different from the previous one. It's a tropical biome where one will find more jungles and bogs than in other halts. In a regular playthrough, the pupils start the journey in a large balanced halt as it's where the tribe had decided to live for the cycle. As such, one can find practically everything there. Here is the caravan, which has just arrived at the halt. For now, the pupils are inside. They'll get out when the beast has settled for installation. The caravan moves exactly like pupils, but only has two movement points. Move the caravan to a strategic location to install the camp. The caravan can't be set up on land that's too steep or too wet. They'll only be happy on a plain. It can crush the trees of a forest. So it won't like being on the mountains or in a boggy bits of a plane but it can crush trees but we don't want to do that we want to be on a plane so let's chuck it that way click on the installation button to install the caravan be aware once installed the caravan will not move again until we depart in the hall choose this position wisely well, i think we're good here i'm happy with that here are shit and hanky once again yay they have left the caravans back. Explore the map, harvest the necessary resource to repair the railroad, then guide the tribe to the eye before the water rises. So, we need... Oh, we need to explore first. That's what we need to do. So you go there. You go there. It looks like that's going to be rocky. Let's go there instead. Oh, trees. The entire map has been explored and not a trace of ore. Bugger. You can't repair the railway line without ore. Whisper to ship that they should build a market by opening ship's construction menu in the selection window. A market is a building that allows resource trading with other tribes. Pupils attach crates of resources to balloons, which carried by the wind quickly find their destination. Soon enough, the requested resources find their way back attached to a small balloon. Cool, so I need to build a market. The market is an appendix. It's a structure built on the back of a pack animal. As such, each appendix requires you to have a rhinophilo in stock. Rhinophilos are a base resource which can be gathered directly from the caravan. Find and collect a rhinophilo in order to build the market. Cool. 
So these are rhinophilos. Look at them, they're cool. The interrupted people taking back resources to a building, these resources will be dropped and lost forever. There's only one rhinophilo per hex. Okay, so let's get them gathering one each, I think. But you get that one, you get that one. Here we've got one. Here we've got two. All the necessary resources to build a market have been obtained. Choose your pupil to build it, then select the market in the appendices tab of the construction menu. Okay. Market. Appendix can only be built on a hex adjacent to the caravan and only on a plain or a forest. This is why the placing of the caravan is important. Okay. So let's stick that next to the caravan there. And then, whichever one this is, is it Hanky, will be building. Let's get you gathering whilst you're waiting. Like all appendices, the market doesn't need a pupil to operate it. Not all resources have the same value, and the exchange rate changes depending on the resources you have to offer. Obtain ore. Most of the time, a large part of the sent resources are lost in the run. Ally tribe receives only a small part. Well, that's not good. So we need ore, um, as well as wood and stone. And it said that some resources are worth more than others. So let's have a little look. Wood 20 to 1, pepkin 20 to 1, fish 10 to 1, game, cereal, spices all 10 to 1, stone is 5 to 1. Obviously, there's no ore here, so we can't get ore. So stone looks like the best bet for trading. And we've got some stone up here, so we're going to need to build a quarry. Um, quarry. 100 wood. So we need to get some more wood first. Let's switch. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's get you collecting some wood. Collect some wood for a couple of turns. We need 100. Cool. So that's our wood. Quarry. 100 wood. Bosh, go build. Alright, quarry's built. Start harvesting. Vagary will happen soon. Oh dear. The jungle has been decimated. The tribe has collected all the wood from this jungle. Peoples are a respectful people who will only take what they need. People has no sense of ownership, so little that we don't even have but their own assigned beds. We are careful not to waste. Nature does not forgive easily or punish a tribe who wastes resources by leaving it behind. So we don't want to leave too much behind so we waste them but we also don't want to strip everything because nature will kick us in the butt do not exploit the resources that the tribe could not take with them by leaving wasted resources behind terrible babies could strike the tribe down in the next hall as such when the wave comes too close nature will push them along with the major climatic vagaries okay so we've definitely got to not cheese off nature um, so we've got a little bit of stone, so let's start trading before we do anything else. We need ore. We've got 60 stone. How much ore do we need? 10. Oh, there we go. That's our 10 ore. Just need uh, another 100 stone. Okay. Great, if any tribes send you ore, complete the object by harvesting all the necessary resources. Okay, so let's just harvest for a little bit. I've got loads of wood now. So I think we'll start harvesting some pepkins. Whilst we wait for all the stone to get gathered. Which we're nearly there.
Right, well, I've got all the stone we need now. I'd like to gather a little bit more if we can. Still got 200 in it. Let's just grab a little bit more. So we've still got 26 turns until the hall is flooded. Pupils are able to sense oncoming vagaries. However, unexperienced pupils are not very good at predicting their arrival. Can only sense them five turns before they occur. Next turn, your workers will be struck with a bad fever. Unassign them from the task to give them more some rest by having them move. Okay, so let's move. Right, to be honest, we've got everything we need. I don't think I'm going to hang around here. We've got, we've got all the bits. Go to the eye. Take all our resources with us. We gathered a few that time. Alright, check we've got everything. Yep. As far as the eye, your score depends on rescued pupils. Along with the resources and buildings you have with them. Of course, we get an extra points for taking more resources with us. Appendices are buildings carried by rhinophilos. They instinctively follow the caravan and accompany your tribe on every step of the journey. Cool, so our, our rhinophilo and market come with us. As they have their own rhinophilos, they don't take up space in the stockpile. As such, each appendix built systematically follows the tribe until the eye. Take as much as possible to the eye, so the pupils have all they need. Cool. Well, I think we've got... We've got... I thought we had a spare rhinophilo and storage. I guess we can't take that one with us. Okay, leave. Hey, hey, victory! Shut Hanky have arrived at the eye. We are impatient to share the newly gained knowledge with the other tribes. In a few blinks, the waves will have covered the entire surface of the world and all the pupils will have gathered at the eye. A new circle comes to a close. By the fire, lost in thought, the two pupils have already left for the next cycle. Climbing the Great Western Cliff will only be a formality. But what will their third cycle ceremony have in store for them? Ooh. Well, we'll all have to wait and see for tomorrow for the next episode. I'm really enjoying this so far. How about you guys? Leave us a like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. Leave us some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.